Alright friends, I hope you're all doing well and welcome to part 16 of the series where we'll be creating an Instagram clone in Flutterflow and Superbase. So in the previous video, we finished up on our search functions and in this video, we'll be doing something very simple. We will be allowing our users to tap on this post and it will send them to a post details page. So let's get into it right now. So let's go ahead and quickly create our post details page. The post details page will be very similar to our home page over here. So let's go ahead and just duplicate our home page first. Let's give it a different name, post details page. All right, cool. Then we want to get rid of some of these widgets over here. So the first widget that we want to get rid of is this row over here. We get rid of this divider. And instead of this list view over here, we just want to show one single post. So we no longer need this list view. So with this list view selected, we can right click on that and we will just remove widget. And now we're left with just our post over here. But now you can see that there's this problem of unknown variables. And that is because in our post component over here, we can scroll down to our post details and our post details component parameter is now unset because we deleted our list view, which previously had the query to get our post details. So that is actually a very simple fix. We want to go back to our search page right here. And when the user clicks on one of these images, he or she will be sent to our post details page. And that is where we will pass the details of our post details row into this page over here and subsequently into our post component here. So how can we pass data between pages? Remember, we can do that through page parameters. So in our post details page right here, we want to define a new page parameter. So we can add a new page parameter. We can give it a name of post detail row. For the type, we can set it as a super base row. We want to set it as required and the table name will be our full posts view. Click on confirm. And now we want to pass the post detail row into this page from our search page. So in our search page, whenever the user clicks on one of these images, we want to send them to our post details page. So with the image selected or the post container selected, we can add a new action with the on tap event. So we add a new action and we want to navigate to our post details page. And for the parameter, we need to pass this post detail row parameter. And I just realized that I spelled detail wrongly, but we can go ahead and change that later. For the value that we want to pass into this parameter, it will be our search results item. And it will just be our search results item since that is the super base row itself. So we confirm. And now we are able to pass our data from this search page to our post details page. So now that we have our data in our post details page, we can pass it into our post component. So with the post component selected over here, we want to scroll down to our post details component parameter. And now we can pass the data from our page parameter, post detail row. You can click on confirm. And you can see that now the fields over here are no longer unknown. It looks like we have one more error over here and that is because of the nav bar. So we actually don't need a nav bar on this page. So with the post details page selected, we want to go ahead and disable the show on nav bar. Then in this page, we also want to add uh, the ability to actually exit the page. So let's see, where can we add that? Maybe we'll just add it at the top, right at the top over here. So in this column, we'll just add a row and we'll shift the row all the way to the top of the page. Oops. And we'll take the row and shift it all the way to... And we'll take this row and shift it all the way to the top of the column over here. In this row, we'll add an icon. And this will just be the back icon. So search for back 
and we'll just choose this chevron icon let's add a bit of padding and yep that should be good now we can add the action on this icon so we open the action flow editor and we'll just choose the navigate back action looks like it created one more error ah yes no that was just because we didn't define the action just now all right so yep that's it we can go ahead and reload our test mode from our previous session all right so now let's see when we search for some post over here and we click on it we are brought to this post details page with the all the details of the post over here and if we go back we are brought back to our search page all right so that's it for today's very short and simple video in the next video we'll be adding on to our post details page specifically the ability to like the post as well as comment on the post as well so we'll cover that in the next video and i hope you're excited for that so see you in the next video